hey y'all i am luna right the gorgeous oracle and i'm here to do um what do you need to work on within yourself reading this is from ask your guides oracle reading well oracle deck i mean i already uh pulled three cards off camera so um before I flip these cards over, I need y'all to pick numbers one, two, or three. And we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you. What do you need to work on within yourself to improve yourself, your love life, career, finances, home life, family life? We're going to see what messages Spirit has for you. What do you need to work on? So if you picked card number one, I have physical body. So, if you pick card number one, physical body. The divine earth mother is present, making you aware of your marvelous physical body. Her great gift to you. Be grateful for her gift. It's a temporary home for your spirit. She asks that you give it the respect and attention that it deserves and needs. So, take care of it with the love and attention. Give it adequate rest, a proper diet, and a calm and peaceful environment. Spend time in nature as the earth is the true mother of your body and will restore it. The better you care for your body, the more it will serve your spirit. Listen to your body. It's gut feeling, it's flutters, and it's impulses as the divine mother speaks to you through it. This is the earth mother cradling you protecting you and guiding you through each day she advised you not to live in your in your head alone and ignore your physical self without a strong connection to your body you'll be weak and unable to achieve your goals your divine mother's message is pay attention to your body so that's for group one physical body group two i have victory victory that's number 15 victory your divine helpers are present bearing the good news to whatever you've been working on will succeed the bad news will there really isn't any bad news but there is reality which in your case suggests that you can fully enjoy your success only if you recognize that you didn't get to where you are by yourself. This isn't to su suggest that you must diminish, diminish your light or be falsely modest in your achievements. Not by the long shot. You deserve to sh shine, so please do. Your divine helpers simply remind you to be grateful and acknowledge the contributions of those who have helped you to get you where you are. This includes your spirit, your spirit helpers and guides as well. One final word. With success comes comes the challenge of standing alone in your light. Of course, you heard the saying, it's lonely at the top. But it doesn't have to be if you remember how you got there. Your divine helper's message to you is share the spotlight. So that's for group two. If you chose number two, your card is victory. So number three, I have exhaustion. If you chose number three, exhaustion. It says, um, your divine helpers are here advising you that while it's essential that you do everything in your power to fulfill your goals, it's equally important to know when to back off and allow the universe to work its magic on your behalf. You've done enough. Allow these beautiful and highly competent guys to step in and take over. Your enthusiasm is your gift, but unless it's properly contained, it can undetermine your best intentions. Undermine, I'm, so, I'm sorry. It can undermine your best intentions. Your divine helpers gently remind you that just as plants need to water to grow, too much drown, too much will drown their ability to blossom. The same principle applies to your efforts. Overdoing is fear in, dis fear in disguise. Do not allow it to keep you in the maniac mode. 
Manic mode. Give yourself more breathing space. Trust that your guide, your divine helpers are on the job overseeing your success so you can rest. You need to let go and turn responsibilities over to others. Just because you need to rest doesn't mean that they do. Ask your divine helpers for assistance in this. They know better than than you what you what you need right now. Ease up and let them work in your miracles. Their message to you is you need to rest. So that's for group three, exhaustion. I heard um for group one for physical bodies, somebody could somebody should um maybe consider eating more greens, more veggies, fruits, and vegetables. Pears, bananas. I heard favorite fruit. Somebody should start eating their favorite fruit more more often. Pears, bananas, apples, grapes. That will help you out as well. Victory. Hard work. What I'm picking up on is like your hard work and effort will pay off. Maybe you should start seeing results within the next 15 days. The next 15 days, 15 weeks, 15 months, maybe in six days, six weeks, and six months. And then exhaustion. I heard somebody could be burnt out and tired. Somebody needs some alone time. Somebody needs to relax. I heard go to a spa. Somebody should go to a spa. Maybe get a body massage. Take some time out to themselves. Disconnect from the world a little bit. If you work, if you have PTO, take maybe two or three days off just so you can um, recharge yourself. Recharge your mind, body, and soul. Somebody needs to recharge their mind, body, and soul. But that's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.